What's up, carpoolers? Corduroy Paco's mobile vlogging unit is back, oddly enough, in full effect. Summer's hot. 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 It's hot out. It's hot out. It's hot in the car. It's hot in my apartment. It's hot everywhere. I don't got the AC in this car, but I do have, I have panel. God, oh, man, it's pretty warm. I'm gonna put this all the way up to blue. Put this over to panel. Oh, good, it's blowing hot air on me. That's, that's so relaxing. Panel, sounds like anal. An anal sounds like anal. And anal's an ass, because it sucks ass. We're pulling onto the highway. It's kind of loud, I'm gonna roll up the windows. Oh, hit the panel, maybe. That's hot, hot air, hot air, still hot air. So I know sometimes I'm accused of putting up a topic a little too late. It's too hot, kids, I gotta roll out windows. But for this one, I decided I was gonna wait a little while just to see how things panned out. So Ryan Dunn from Jackass died in a car accident. The circumstances of how he died is not what I'm here to talk about. I had always wondered about the legacy of the Jackass guys, and I wondered if they'd ever be able to break the mold out of being guys who just did stupid shit. In all of the obituaries I read, one of the things it would say is, Ryan Dunn, best known for sticking a miniature car up his butt in Jackass 2. And I think like when you're alive, when you're in Jackass, when you read you're best known for sticking a car up your ass, that's pretty funny. But then when you're dead and it's in your obituary, I bet it becomes a little less hilarious. I bet you in his mind, he thought that in his life he was gonna do more in order to be remembered for it. But I'm also wondering, is Ryan Dunn now gonna become the Kurt Cobain of the Jackass generation? By dying, has Ryan Dunn cemented himself into fame? Or has he surrendered himself to be known for something stupid? To me, Ryan Dunn was always the coolest one. Johnny Knoxville always seemed like the guy who was way too cool to hang out with you. He wouldn't be your buddy. He wouldn't, holy God, there's smoke like crazy coming from over there. I'm moving you carpoolers. You see that? What the hell's going on over there? But anyway, so my question to you carpoolers is this. If your life is gonna be unreal and fun and out of control, is that worth having a legacy that paints you as a jackass, no pun intended? Or does having the fun life totally justify being known as a jackass for the ages? See, I myself don't know the answer to that question. Cause who cares about your legacy after you're dead? I bet some people care a lot about it, but me myself, I, I don't know if I do. But then again, you don't wanna be known as a total nincompoop. Like when OJ Simpson dies, People aren't gonna remember that he like was a really good football player. People are gonna remember that he killed two people, got away with it, and then got thrown in jail for stealing his own autograph. Not enviable. So hook me up with your comments, carpoolers. I really wanna hear them. Tell your friends to check it out as well. You should also like it down there, subscribe up there, join the ride on Twitter. On a serious note, carpoolers, please always drive safe. Keep your head in the game when you're behind the wheel because it doesn't take much to have things go super wrong for you. And one way to always do well is to remember, check your mirrors.